take a look at what's happening in Northwest Arkansas. Yes, let's do it. Yes, Arkansas has a new coach on campus. That's yes, right, the Pictures of Nation's Alyssa Orange joining us to talk about the new head hog. Well, guys, it went from like zero to 60. That's yeah. how these yes. coaches things happen <laughs> because for the past two weeks, it's been, well, maybe it's going to be this guy. Maybe it's going to be this guy. We had heard some rumblings about Eric Musselman, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden yesterday, it went from like, guys, be ready to, here it is. Boom. Sure. And we're at the airport at Drakefield catching him getting off the flight. So yeah. it's been really kind of a wild ride the yes. past 24 hours, and yeah, it's going to sure. continue. But again, here he is landing at Drakefield yesterday. Eric Musselman, the head coach at Arkansas, coming to the Razorbacks from Nevada, where he spent the last four seasons. He inherited a 9-22 and program, able to turn that around super quickly. Nice. They won the CBI their first year at Nevada, went to three straight NCAA tournaments after that. And so really what Hunter Yurchek is wanting, the AD at Arkansas, is to have that kind of turnaround. Yeah. Sure. It's not like Arkansas was losing, but he wants to have some success, and he wants to get back to the tournament. Obviously, a lot of people, though, want to know how much are we paying him. Right. Everybody wants to talk about Numbers. how much um, he's getting paid. I would all like those to know if he needs numbers. an assistant yeah. in me and right. Jason. Yeah, we, Any, we're, I'm there. Anybody yeah. that wants to come volunteer, you might get a volunteer. <laughs> a volunteer. I, don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get a cut of any of this. But he's <laughs> making a pretty good salary. and bring yeah. to a five-year contract worth $2.5 million annually, and that's going to increase by $100,000 should the team make the NCAA tournament. So they're throwing nice. in postseason incentives there. If they make the Sweet 16, Musselman will get a bonus of $250,000, then $350,000 for the Final Four, and a cool Five hundred thousand dollars if cool he makes the national championship, thousand. and you know Ooh, Arkansas nice. hasn't been there in quite some right. time. Okay. So okay. hopefully, you know the Hogs can maybe get back on track. Here's yeah. some notables: he has signed a non-agreement, a non-compete agreement, which means he cannot go to any other SEC school. Oh, okay. If he were to leave before 2021, he owes the university five million, mm. and that will decrease as that goes on. And then. Arkansas bought out his contract at Nevada for one million. So had a little leverage there. Had wow. Arkansas buy him out and then yeah. Yeah. paying him some nice money. What I like too is when they arrived, they went and met with the team, and I think that mm -hmm. was so important Absolutely. because yeah. you're a young team. You only have one senior in Adrio Bailey, um, and so a lot of speculation on if guys were even going to leave. Even when Anderson oh, yeah. was okay. here, if right. guys were going to leave. So I think it was really good to try to rally this mm -hmm. team and to see what this roster is going to look like. We're going to get to meet him in person today at 3. That's open to the public, by the way. Oh, yeah. It opens at 2 at Bud Walton if anyone wants to come, yeah. but really excited. You know, this is a guy that takes his shirt off. After I know. He he does Mountain West tournament. Does so he get a raise every time he does I, that? What's no, that? Oh, wow. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's I no monetary love, incentive there. So, yeah. hope we'll get to meet him today. I yes. love watching everything unfold over social media over the weekend, yeah. mm -hmm. from seeing him get on a plane, seeing yes. him get off the plane, seeing him and his family meet mm -hmm. uh, the AD, yeah. uh, seeing them have on Arkansas sure. shirts. Yep. Family. Even uh, the AD, Hunter Yurchek, he uh, posted a like a fun yep. GIF of uh, Bud Walton. It had right, red with smoke. The smoke. Coming out like. of it. So I love <laughs> to see like a lot of things happening, even mm -hmm. the pictures with the players yeah. over the weekend. I mean, it was almost like you said, it was like, boom, he's here. It's yeah. like he's hit the ground running already. Yes. He really, he already. really has brought his brought his family his here. Family, his yeah. wife, his daughter Mariah and his sons, Matthew and Michael. And yeah. um, really excited to meet them. You know, his wife used to be a sports anchor reporter for ESPN and oh. Home Network. So okay. really excited to meet Danielle and introduce myself. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm excited. I think a lot of people have some mixed feelings about Musselman and the hire, uh, but you got to give the guy a chance. And yeah, he absolutely. NBA experience as well. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yes. yeah. More basketball news happening. Uh, in the women's That's arena, right. Baylor Bears won the women's basketball NCAA tournament last night. This was a, a nail game over so uh, Notre Dame. <laughs> the final score 82 to 81. Super close game. Also, shout out to Satia Messer. She is on the coaching yeah. staff for yeah. Baylor. Yeah. She is a U of A alum. So, congrats to them. My sister works for Baylor. And okay. So, I texted her. I said, Hey, you know, y'all won. Is there class today? She said, absolutely. The president oh, it's promptly yeah. sent yes, an email and said, hey, <laughs> class. you know, we know that you guys are excited about the ladies winning. Of course, we are too. 
go to class. Hey, right. you know what? On the flip side, and y'all are going to talk about this, tech classes canceled after five. So they yes. Were they? National yes. National yes. And all day tomorrow. Yes. And all day yes. tomorrow. Yes, all day yep. tomorrow. Yeah, let's talk about that. The NCAA <laughs> Men's Basketball Championship <laughs> taking place tonight. And while the game's happening in Minneapolis, yeah. there are various locations around mm -hmm. Northwest Arkansas where you can see the game. Alyssa, you got any predictions for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. Okay, so as much as I really like Chris Beard, I am from Virginia, born and raised. Oh, I'm not a right. Cavs fan, okay. but I've got to go with my home state team of Virginia. You've got a team, two defenses one averaging opponents to just 55 points per game the other 58 points per game so I hope you don't like scoring you're not gonna see a ton of it I don't think but it's gonna okay. be a fun one yeah absolutely okay. interesting okay. I know Hoos. nothing about basketball so I'm just gonna go with Alyssa <laughs> yeah. she's a professional she's know, <laughs> she, knows she knows what she's talking, talking about, about. Right? We're root for Virginia. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. That's, that's it. Go We're, we're here for you. Go Wahoos. <laughs> yeah. All right.